Hey guys, Scott here. Uh, today Microsoft announced its brand new Xbox, the Xbox One, and I'm going to recap uh, maybe the top five good things and the top five bad things about the Xbox. So let's start off with one of the good things, which is it has an, an improved Kinect and an improved controller and improved Xbox Live. It has 300,000 servers, which they threw out a fun fact is more servers than we had in the world in 1999. Um, so the improved connect is always online, it's always listening to what you say, which is kind of creepy, but kind of cool. Um, it has a lot of voice commands, which I'm actually going to talk about later on in this video. Uh, the controller's been improved, they say. Um, it has, like, vibrating triggers, it has an improved D-pad. Um, I personally don't like the design as much, but maybe that'll change once I get my hands on it. Personally, I think it looks like a third-party controller right now with its weird little Xbox insert. And some questions about that controller are the start and select buttons, or start and back, sorry, seem to have been removed with new buttons. One looks like an options button, one looks like, I don't know, it's two squares. I'm guessing it's a dashboard button. Um, I'm not sure if the Xbox guide button is still a thing. It looks like the the current button on the, the new controller is just a, a, a flat button. That with that lights up maybe I don't know it doesn't even look like it has um, the uh, one two three four players on here so we'll see what that's all about now let's jump over into the bad category um, they did not talk about any extra peripherals uh, so no uh, surface tablet to go along with it um, there's been these videos of the Illuma room which you're probably seeing on the video right now which would have been a really cool feature that really probably could have wowed some people. Alright, back to the good. They announced a Halo TV show produced or directed by Steven Spielberg. So that's a pretty big deal for Halo fans. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a TV show that's on actual TV or if it's just an exclusive to Xbox. Time will tell on that. Now let's jump back to the bad. Um, doesn't look like you're going to have any used game support. Or... Well, okay, so when you buy a game, you put it in your new Xbox One and it installs. Um, you can play the game while it's installing, and then you can sell the game. And then if someone else buys that game, they're going to have to pay a fee to actually install that game. So we'll see how that works. I don't know if your copy of the game will still work if someone else, someone else registers it. Um, if so, I guess you could buy a game and then immediately throw it on eBay after you... Uh, after you install it, but we'll see. Alright, back to good. Uh, they had a lot of really cool ways to watch TV and really excellent ways to enjoy sports. If you're into fantasy, fantasy leagues, there's a lot of support for that. Like little pop-ups on the screen will show up when one of your players scores points. and Just really interesting, cool ways to watch television. Um, going back to the bad, um, there are way too many voice controls. You can say Xbox turn on and it's on. You say Xbox Netflix and it launches at Netflix. Um, and I don't know about you, but I've had to turn off my Kinect's voice recognition because while I'm watching TV shows on Netflix, a lot of the time people on the TV show itself will say stuff that will either start rewinding or fast forwarding or stopping my my broadcast so I've actually had to turn off voice controls so now I'm worried that if I'm playing a game and someone's talking about Xbox in the room next to me or if something on my game happens to say something like Xbox turn off while I'm playing I don't know a really important boss fight or something like that um, that I'm gonna lose all my progress so I'm not too excited for that um, Back to the good, they announced that they are going to have, I believe they said 12, 12 new IPs uh, within the year of an Xbox One coming out. So finally Xbox is getting some exclusives, and yeah, they've been kind of hurting for those lately. Um, they'll probably show more of those at E3, which is in just a couple of weeks, so it'll be nice to actually see uh, what they've been working on. And hopefully we'll get like new Alan Wake and interesting games like that. Um, there's no backwards compatibility. So all of your Xbox 360, all of your Xbox, all of your Xbox Live Arcade games, they're done. So hold on to your old Xbox 360 if you still want to play all those games. Uh, and the coolest thing I would say about this system is how fast it seemed to be. Uh, it turned on in a couple seconds. 
uh, you can just say Xbox go to this and it immediately just snaps into whatever application you asked it to go into which was really cool um, they just pretty much on the demo just kept snapping through different applications and you can also if you're familiar with Windows 8 you can snap two applications side by side and have two of them running at the same time so he had a Skype call going on while he was watching a movie or playing watching sports and stuff like that which is kinda cool and the last thing I would say is they did not give us much information about live so we don't know I think we're still gonna have to pay for it um, I'm hoping we get a little bit uh, tweaked system because the fact that we still have to pay for gold to watch Netflix and all of these other random things just is not very good considering pretty much every other device on this planet connects to Netflix without any extra fees so there we have it uh, let me know what you think is the good and the bad uh, if you and if you liked this video please feel free to comment like and subscribe I will see you guys next time see you later guys have a good one